couple of weeks back, I did a video on Octopus's newly announced heat pump that they call Cozy 6. It generated a lot of interest and a lot of comments. I even got sent a nice octopus directly from Octopus along with a nice message as well, so thank you for that Octopus. Within the comments there were some very interesting insights as to the origin of where the Octopus heat pump has come from and the potential specs we could see when this is released later in the year in December. Also, typically since I released that video there's been an upgrade to the boiler upgrade scheme or bus provided by the government. In this video I wanted to provide a bit more information on the Cozy 6 heat pump which if you remember they said could be free for some people and also talk about the boiler upgrade scheme as well so stay tuned. Hi everyone I'm Danny V Solar welcome to my channel if you haven't already seen my previous video on the Octopus Cozy 6 heat pump check that out here it's also listed in the description as well so currently information on the Octopus Cozy 6 heat pump is pretty limited I even contacted Octopus directly to see if they could give me a few more snippets of information and whilst they were very helpful providing a link to the full presentation that Greg Jackson the CEO of Octopus did when he showed off the Cozy 6 heat pump there wasn't too much more that they could tell me. However, I did have a few comments on the last video from people that are definitely more in the know than me. But if anyone knows anything more than what's in this video, be sure to comment and let me know your thoughts as well. I just want to say I'm not an expert in this area at all. I'm just interested in the technology, particularly when it comes to green technology, such as heat pumps, solar and electric vehicles. Thank you to the names that are on screen now for providing very detailed comments and informing me that Octopus had recently purchased a Northern Ireland based company called Renewable Energy Devices Limited or RED. A quick check on company's house confirmed that Octopus Heating Limited took a position of significant control in October 2022, but I believe they've been working with RED for a few years before this as well. RED have been going since 2014 and are headed up by Dr. Jason Castles. The RED website states that their heat pump can provide efficiencies in excess of 500%, if they are correctly sized and installed and have an efficiency rating of A++. Dr. Jason stated that when I founded RED, I had a dream to make heat pumps affordable, to put as many heat pumps in as many homes as possible and to make green heating accessible to everyone. With Octopus's financial backing, industry knowledge and tech expertise combined with it, our heat pump know-how, this dream will finally become a reality. We're at the cusp of a clean heating revolution and Octopus is leading it. The multi-million pound deal with Octopus will help to scale up Red's factory in Northern Ireland and it's estimated that this will create up to 1,000 engineering jobs by the end of 2024. And by the end of 2022, Octopus and Red were hoping to produce 1,000 heat pumps per month from the factory. So it's pretty fair to assume that Octopus's new heat pumps are based largely around the design of the Red heat pumps that they initially developed. Here's a picture of their heat pump design shown on the RED website and you can see the resemblances to the Octopus design with the top mounted fan rather than the side mounted one as you usually see on most heat pump designs. A top mounted fan takes the air upwards allowing it to be installed into smaller gaps such as down the side of a house rather than needing as much venting room and also potentially reduces the noise a little for neighbouring properties. Jason from RED now leads Octopus's green heating manufacturing department. Octopus state on their website that he has designed their next generation heat pump factory from the ground up and how RED were previously focused on low volume and higher end products rather than mass manufacturing. The heat pump can run at temperatures up to 80 degrees which is comparable to a gas boiler and also quite high when compared to existing heat pumps on the market as well and it's therefore designed to be a true retrofit to houses without needing too much upgrades. If the install traditionally would have required you to install new pipe work or upgrade multiple radiators. I think it'd be really interesting to see how this higher temperature affects the efficiency of the units, particularly for the likes of my use case where I have 10mm microbore pipe throughout my house, which may not provide enough flow for the heat pump to work efficiently. I've heard mixed messages when it comes to microbore. If you have any experience of this, please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and whether it's likely to work or not. There's also a lot more information on Jason's role within Octopus contained in the link in the description below. So check that out if you're interested, including how during development he installed his own heat pump in his home and spent two weeks in the middle of winter writing code in an attempt to perfect the defrost logic. If we look at the products on Red's website in a bit more detail, we can start to get a feel for what specs we can expect to see when Octopus Cozy 6 is released in December. Although I'm sure there have been a level of development that may have improved the technology since then. 
So Octopus announced the Cozy 6, which is named due to the output of heat, which is 6 kilowatts. Octopus say that the 6 kilowatt unit should serve a 3 or 4 bedroom semi-detached house. And also stated that they'll be releasing an 8 kilowatt and a 12 kilowatt version in future as well. Interestingly, the two models on the red website are sized at 10 kilowatts and 16 kilowatt version. So it seems like some resizing has been done since Octopus became involved. And although this isn't an exact science, the data sheets do give us a rough idea on efficiencies we can expect on this unit from Octopus. For Red's 10 kilowatt unit, it can run from 1.5 to 10 kilowatts, and it lists a maximum floor temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. So again, obviously some development work gone in there with Octopus, as they state that the unit can run up to 80 degrees. It lists a COP or coefficient of performance, which essentially is a measure of efficiency of between 2.64 and 4.37, dependent on the floor temperatures for the 10 kilowatt unit, and from 2.77 to 4.66 for the 16 kilowatt unit, which can run at between 3 and 15 kilowatts. So these COP measurements are essentially the heat that is output based on 1 kilowatt of electricity going in. So a COP of 4.66 means that for every one kilowatt of electricity that's going in, it's producing 4.66 kilowatts of heat to the house. So like I said, there's obviously been a lot of changes since Octopus got involved, and it's not an exact science, but it does give us some idea of what we can expect later in the year. In other news, a couple of days after I released my previous video, Rishi Sunak announced that the government were upgrading the Boiler Upgrade Scheme grant from £5,000 to £7,500 which is great and will only help the adoption longer term. Although admittedly, that was about the only good thing he did say in, in his announcement. And despite the increase, the funding pot for these installs haven't actually increased at all, which means less installs will get completed. I also noticed that for current Octopus customers, you can now get an instant quote for a heat pump from their website for the current offering of their Dakin heat pumps. I mentioned in my previous video that I was quoted 6,500 to get this unit installed in my house. With an increase in the bus grant, I ran this again last night and this figure is now coming out at 4,250, which is getting closer to where I would be tempted but still isn't quite there yet. I currently have a 5 bedroom detached house so I suspect I might need something bigger than the Cozy 6 heat pump. Although the house is well insulated and is pretty good at retaining heat. Hopefully the new cosy heat pumps can bring this price down again and it all of a sudden becomes very very tempting and can make a lot of sense financially alongside my solar and battery install as well. Supplementing the power it needs with a time of use tariff from Octopus. And that's assuming that I wouldn't need to upgrade too much to install the heat pump. A couple of people did mention on my previous video the cost differential between gas and electricity and how although heat pumps are really efficient and more efficient than boilers, the fact that gas is around about four times cheaper than electricity at the moment negates any potential cost savings on these systems. Whilst this is true, there are cheaper time of use tariffs that can be made use of, which will bring the cost down for electricity. And when combined with battery storage as well, they start to make some financial sense. If you want to sign up for some cracking smart tariffs from Octopus, it'd be great if you could use the referral link that's on screen now. If you sign up using this to Octopus, you will get £50 added to your account when you join, and I also get £50 as well. Now, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of how heat pumps work in this video. Like I said earlier, I'm not an expert, and there's a great video from Heat Geek, which I'll link in the description that you can check out if you want to know more. Anyway, no doubt after I post this video, a glut of new information will appear about the uh, Octopus Cozy 6. But hopefully that provides a bit more information for those of you that are interested. Please do let me know in the comments, like I mentioned, if you have any further information on this. And if you would consider purchasing one if the price is right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.